Hello everyone, so today we are going to solve an interesting problem based on telescopic series. So let's start with the problem. The problem is, find the value of n, here n belongs to a natural number, given that the series, sum of the series, uh, the general term is root over 1 plus 1 upon r square plus 1 upon r plus 1 whole square. And here the summation is varying from r is equal to 0 to 1999. And this series sum is equal to difference of two terms. The first is n and the second is minus 1 upon n. Here we have to calculate this quantity that is equal to natural number that is n. And if you have not checked my previous videos that is based on telescopic series, you can press on the i button and you can check. Let's start with the question. The sum of the series is given by n minus 1 upon n. So I'll tell you a general way how to approach this kind of questions. Telescopic series what I mean. So first of all, you have to write t of n, the nth term of the series. So general term is given in r, we're going to replace r by n, we'll get our nth term. So that is root over 1 plus 1 upon n square plus 1 upon n plus 1 whole square. And here I'm going to do one thing, I'm going to break this term into two parts. The first one is t1 and the second one is t2. And I'll break in such a way that I can write t of n, the nth term, into two parts, difference of two parts. So t of 1 minus t of 2. And our motive will be as soon as we put all the values of n. For example, if I put n is equal to 1, I'll get t1 minus t2. Now similarly, if I put n is equal to 2, that is my second term, I'll get this as t2 minus t3. And as I put n is equal to 3, I'll get t3 minus t4. In similar fashion, if I put n is equal to n, I'll get this as t of n minus t of n plus 1. Now, why I'm breaking this into difference of two terms? Because when you put n is equal to 1 to n, you will see cancellation of alternate terms. As you can see, cancellation of alternate terms. And we'll get our sum, that is t1 minus t of n plus 1. So in the similar fashion, I'm going to break the t of nth term. So let's start. So I'll start by writing t of n. So t of n, we can replace r by n, we'll get our nth term, that is root over 1 plus 1 upon n square plus 1 upon n plus 1 whole square. Now as we have discussed in the previous slide, we have to break this into two terms, such that the difference will create it. Okay. Now first of all, I want to remove the root over so that I can write this term as a difference of two terms. To remove the root over, I have to create a perfect square. So let's create here perfect square. So I'll write this as root over. I'm going to write this as 1 by n minus 1 upon n plus 1 whole square. And why negative? Because I want to create difference. Now as soon as you open the square, you'll get a square plus b square plus minus 2ab. So in order to maintain the same term, I have to add 2ab. So twice of 1 by n multiplied by 1 upon n plus 1. And remaining plus 1 here. Now if you observe this term carefully, this term carefully, you will see this as this term 1 upon n minus 1 upon n plus 1. If you take the LCM here, you will get n plus 1 minus n whole divided by n into n plus 1. You will get this as 1 upon n into n plus 1. So I'm going to write this as this as n in 1 upon n into n plus 1. So let's start. So I got root over 1 upon n into n plus 1 whole square plus twice of 1 upon n into 1 upon n plus 1 plus 1 root over closed. Now if you observe carefully here this is a perfect square and I can remove the root over. If it's not visible, I'll, I'll show you here. This is a square, this is b square, this term, and this is twice ab. So this is a perfect square is written, a plus b, whole square, and root over is given. So I'm going to remove the root over here. So we'll get this as t of n as 1 upon n into n plus 1 plus 1. That is a plus b whole square and the root over is removed. Now, as we have discussed, I have to create this as a difference of two terms. 
so I'm going to write 1 upon n into n plus 1 as I'm going to write 1 upon n into n plus 1 as 1 upon n minus 1 upon n plus 1 so 1 upon n minus 1 upon n plus 1 plus 1 now in the next slide I'm going to show you the sum because we have created a difference now we'll I'll show you the power of telescopic series so we got t of n as 1 upon n minus 1 upon n plus 1 plus 1 now as soon as you start putting n is equal to 1 you will see the cancellation of alternate terms so as you put n is equal to 1 we will get this as 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon 2 plus 1 put n is equal to 2 we will get this as 1 upon 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 3 plus 1 put n is equal to 3 you will get this as 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 4 plus 1 and so on in the similar fashion if you put n is equal to n here so the nth term is 1 upon n minus 1 upon n plus 1 plus 1 now sum of all these terms will give you the sum of the series so if you add you can see here cancellation of alternate terms will occur if you put n is equal to 1 to n I'll show you here minus 1 by 2 if you add with plus 1 by 2 these two will cancel out minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 these two will cancel out in the similar fashion all the terms will cancel out in such a way now I'll write the remaining that is will that will be your s of n so s of n will be you'll see here what is remaining I'll write here 1 is remaining so 1 minus this term is remaining so 1 upon n plus 1 and what else is remaining here so here remaining unities are remaining how many times 1 is added 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus n times it's added so 1 into n is n so this is remaining and this will be equal to n plus 1 minus 1 upon n plus 1 and here you can see I have taken n as a last term so our last term was 1999 that is 1999 so as soon as you put n is equal to 1999 here you'll get s of n as 19 1999 plus 1 is 2000 minus 1 upon 2000 so here our final answer is in this form as you can see here you can compare this n and here n will be equal to 2000 so this will be our final answer that will be all for this video and thank you